Bethany's. It was still daytime. It was still day. Yes. Best. Okay. Were there still a lot of people out? It was still. It was still people out. Okay. It was still people out. Um, not a lot in that area. By the park, it was a lot of people out. Okay. Like I said, it looked like something was. I don't know what the hell. <laughs> But it was a lot of people out, and it was pe- like I said, it was people. It was older couples walking down the street. It was younger people walking down the street. People were like an event or something was going on. I, I don't know, but it kind of seemed like it was a lot. Like it was something going on to where it was vibrant because it was a lot of people everywhere, walking everywhere. up and down the street, everywhere. It's people, 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 people. That's why I'm saying, like, if I got into a fight with her right there, it would be something impossible for somebody to not be like, hey, this guy's fighting this chick or whatever the case may be. Like, it, how could somebody not see something? How long was it be- between leaving Stephanie's and those cops yelling at you at the door of that guy's house? Was it dark when they yelled at you? Yeah, by the time they came, it was dark. Okay. But we had been sitting out there. We had been sitting out there for a minute, me, me and the guy. We were sitting right there on the porch. We were just sitting there. To find how long? Uh, estimate. Maybe all, maybe 20, 30 minutes, maybe. Okay. It wasn't long, long, but it was, it was long enough for, like, like I said, he let me use his phone. We sat on the porch. We were sitting right there, just like this, just sitting on the porch. While I called, called me an Uber. I called the Uber. I said, look, man, I, I let him know. I said, look, I ain't trying to rob you or nothing like that. Because when I knocked on the door, he kind of was like, whoa. I'm like, look. I don't got no weapons. I'm not trying to break in your house. I'm not trying to rob you. Nothing like that, dog. I just need to call an Uber. That's it. You, I'm not, you know, he was just like, okay. I'll come out. Boom. I, yo, I need an Uber to, yo, what's your address? He told me the address. And we was just sitting there waiting. That's how I was going to get back home. I told him, I said, I got, I got the money on my car. I'm not asking you for no money. I just need to use your phone. Mm-hmm. That's it. That was it. That was all. And then from there, we sat on the porch and just shot the shit out. I'm saying you told me last night he was cool with that. Like he wasn't. Yeah, it wasn't being weird. He wasn't. He was like, oh yeah, I'll help you out. Yeah, we just sat there on the porch. Right. He asked me. He did ask me. He said, do you need a jacket? I said, no, I'm straight. Like I, I be home as soon as the Uber come. I know it's probably gonna cost me <laughs> probably like forty dollars to get. I mean, I'm guessing. I don't. I don't know, but mm-hmm. probably. But I had enough on my car to where I knew I can get home, and that's that was the main thing. I'm like, I'm just going home. She can keep the money or whatever. I didn't even try to contact her further. I just was like, I'm I'm gone. I'm calling yeah. Uber and I'm going home. That's it. Let me ask you this, Darrell. So you weren't out. You weren't out in Waukesha Saturday, just Sunday. Yes, sir. Right. Okay. Nothing physical yesterday. Um, like I told you, you're a part in the investigation. There's a lot of parts, right? To any investigation, there's investigation. people we talk about. Well, this domestic abuse thing I'm telling you about, right? Okay. okay. So wait. Hold on. Let me, oh, okay. let me go. I'm sorry. You I just had a question. About, but you talked sorry. about being a, you know, a religious man, right? I can do better. God. I can definitely do could. better. We all could. I'm not. We all could. No, That's why. Better. That's why the yesterday was a mistake. I should have just freaking watched the game and just yeah. fucking went home. Right. Because uh, and that's the thing. What do, what do they teach us in Christianity? Throughout that they teach us that we're broken, right? We're sinners. Even when we're born, we're born sinners. We're broken. That's why Psalm 51, we're so 17. thankful for God's grace and forgiveness, right? When we ask for it. Um, even though we don't deserve it. But when we ask for it, he gives it. All right? You're a father. You got three children, 18, is it 18, 14, and 7? Yes, sir. All right? You got a mama that raised you well. And a God you, you believe in. Absolutely. All right? And all of them are, here's the thing they'll all want, is to tell, that you're telling the absolute whole truth and nothing but the truth, right? Absolutely. So help you God, right? Absolutely. Sound familiar? We've all heard that, right? Um... And I just have concerns if I fact check that Darrell's not telling me the truth. 
you don't have a car, so Marcus had to bring you out. You don't own a car, your mom doesn't own a car, right? So Marcus had to bring you out. So why did we find you with a car key in your pocket? It wasn't in my pocket. I don't even know where they said that was laying on the ground. That's yours. Yeah. It's it's yours. It should have been by my ID. Yeah, it's yours. It's your car key, okay? Because it goes to a Ford Escape in your mom's name covered in Wonka shop. Okay. Listen, Darrell. I'm trying to be as open and honest with you as I can be. You know, I'm Christian too, and believe me, I'm not perfect. And neither are you. And I'm not calling you a terrible man. I'm not saying you were out yesterday hunting and just let me finish. But you did not walk to that house. You did not walk to that house. You did not come here in a tan Kia. You didn't. Okay. Who? You did not come out here in a tan Kia. Okay. You've got a key in your pocket to a car in your mom's name. Okay. And that key works for that car. For the love of God, Marcus. For yourself, for your family. You know what happened yesterday for the people. Tell me what happened. With what? With the car. What am I being? With your mom's car. You were driving goofy, people called in. You drove out of there in your mom's car, the red car. You're driving a little silly, probably because you're pissed. You met up with Erica in the car at the park. Now, initially, I believe you told us the gas station. Do I have that right? And then you changed it to the park. So that's an analysis. No, no, I said the house was by the gas station. You, when you said, you said what was by You said you went, Mark. and it was by a gas station. That's where you met her. No, 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 no. I said I met her at the park. Okay. At a well, creek. Met her, you say that. You met her at the park in your mom's car. Red Ford Escape. She got in, you talked, and what you're telling me seems pretty consistent that there was nothing physical between the two of you. No, I didn't. No. But you met her in the car. I didn't put my hands on her. Nothing but like you that. met her in the car. Can, what's going on, man? I'm asking you a question. Just be, you were out there just driving kind of crazy. On, Some man. people said you were driving kind of crazy. We got reports of it. You got the key, you got the car. Did you take the car or did your mom give you the car? I know you know what car I'm talking about. I just want to know. <laughs> so, some people reported okay, no, 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 that no. car driving a bit erratic. I, I know what you're saying. All I'm saying is this. All I'm saying is this. We all been straight up with each other. You knew it was more to what you was asking me yesterday. Didn't know that would sure. explain that would explain the FBI and all that, right? They're not here today, so if it's that big a deal, you don't see them here today. Come on, Kurt. We been we been. You guys met in the car in the park. We been cool, yeah, man, awesome. the whole time. If I did something, if yeah. I did something yeah, wrong, that's why they were here. But do you see them here today? They're not here today. Yeah, but. But y'all lied to me, man. You made it seem like they just come for no reason. Well, here's the thing, Darrell. And I'm like, what and if I, if it's listen to me for a minute. I, I, can apologize. You, I can give you a clean slate I, here. I, I apologize. Because you have lied to us as well. Because you came out here in the Red Ford Escape. Okay, that is what you came out here in. You had the key, all right? So what I want to do is try to give us all a chance to reset. You understand what I'm saying? Start over. Because you're not giving us an accurate story. You didn't ride out with Marcus in a tan car. You said your mom doesn't have a car. I just told you we've disproven that. All right? I don't know what kind of woman she is. I don't know what you all been through. But you were seen in the car driving kind of driving kind of acting a fool, okay? In basically the same area that you've already been able to describe to me. I'm just trying to figure out how and why it happened. What made you tear out of there? What made you so mad where you're like, fuck it, and you raced on out of there? And then people call, man, this guy, is, he's driving around here kind of fast. Oh. 
all I want to know. Like I said, y'all been cool with me. Am I charged with anything? That's all I want to know. I'll tell you anything you want to know. Right now. I, I'm Listen, I was... You were driving a bit? So, listen, might be I was so, be like, listen, listen. No, I don't drink. That, that, you that, 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 you that said you had a couple cold ones during the game. No, nah, yeah, I, yeah. But I'm saying the hard alcohol okay. is not my thing. I was not drunk when you get the blood.